Hey guys, welcome to the weekly wrap up where I show you what is on my face every day of the week because that's super interesting. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see, just keep watching this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Have a really great weekend and I will see you guys next week. Hey guys, today is Monday. I hope you all had a really, really great weekend. All I have to say is I can definitely tell that it's Monday and that it's going to be Monday all day long in a sense. I don't know. It's just been a weird off day for me so far. Um, I forgot to bring my bag of makeup. I threw everything into my makeup bag as I put it on this morning and then just completely forgot to grab it on the way out. So, um, I guess what I'll do is just tell you from memory what I'm wearing today. And then when I get home, I'll take a picture and post on Instagram like I usually do every day anyway of my makeup, but I'll insert it after this. Let's see how good my memory is for this Monday. So for primer, I am, oh, oh let me, I should mention also everything on my face today is drugstore. So I kind of tried to do that today as a theme and then of course forgot the bag, but I'll go ahead and tell you what I have on. So for primer, I'm wearing the CoverGirl, I think it's the CoverGirl Outlast, Stay Last, Stay Fast, I don't know what it is. CoverGirl Primer, anyway, um, you'll see it in the picture. Okay, so my foundation on top of that primer is the L'Oreal um, Magic Nude, Liquid Nude. I don't know why I can't remember the names of these things, but I think it's the uh, Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation, something like that, um, the one that I showed you guys last week. To set everything, I'm using a setting powder actually from NYX that I really like that I got from Ulta probably last year sometime. Then for um, bronzer today, I'm wearing my Milani Baked Bronzer. And for blush, I'm wearing the Baked Blush from Milani in the color Rose de Oro is the color of it. It's really, really pretty. Then for, um, and it has enough shimmer in it that I don't have to wear like additional highlighter with it. So there's no highlighter today. Then for my eyeshadow, I am wearing from Milani um, one of the little singles like I showed you guys last week. But this one, I think the color is called Copper. Um, I really like it. I think it's a pretty shade. Um, so I just, that's the only color I'm wearing. And then I just kind of blended it out into the crease a little bit and a little bit. And then for mascara, I am wearing from CoverGirl. I think it's one of the Lash Blast ones, but it's in the blue and green tube, which I'll also include in the picture. So I was talking to my dad this morning and I think he can sort of tell when I'm having like a down day. I was talking to him on the phone and he said, well, just remember that to get to Friday, you have to go through Monday first. And that's true. So today on my lips, I'm actually just wearing gloss today. And that's everything on my face today. All right, that's it. I'm signing off for this Monday. Have a really great day. Have a great week. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, so it's Tuesday and I will say that it is a better day today than it was yesterday so far. So that's great. So I'm going to show you really quickly what is on my face for today. For um, primer, I'm still using my It Number 50 and it's almost gone. If you can see the bottom right there, which I'm kind of upset about because it's kind of expensive, but it works better than anything that I've ever tried as primer. So I'm sure I'm going to repurchase it. Then for foundation today, I'm wearing from Tarte. This is the Colored Clay Found Sealer. It's this two-in-one foundation and concealer is what it's it's marketed as. I really like it. It's a thicker formula, but I love Tarte Foundation, so it was just one that I really wanted to try, and I really like it. That one is almost empty, actually. To set everything, again, I'm from Tarte. I'm using the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation Powder. Um, this is actually a powder foundation you can wear on its own and I do that in the summertime sometimes but it's also not so thick and cakey that you can't use it like to set your foundation and that's what I use that for a lot it just works really well then um for concealer today I'm trying this um little fake up sample from Benefit so we're gonna see how that works under my eyes it seems to work okay so far then um today for um pretty much all of my face. So for blush, let's see if I can get it open. For blush, bronzer, highlighter, and my eyes today, I am um, using um, this Tarte palette, which I really, really am so glad that I invested in this palette. Not that it was like super expensive, but it's just a really good one. Everything is very wearable and usable. This is the Showstopper palette from Tarte. Okay, so here's what the palette looks like. Um, 
The blush is in the middle. It's a really, really beautiful, just wearable shade. We have the bronzer over here on this side and then highlighter over here on this side. And then I'm wearing these three, um, the three more brown neutral shades over here. Those are the three shades that I'm wearing on my eyes today. So this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, just all around wearable everyday palette. You can do so many looks with this. And then for, um, my primer under my eyeshadow from Mica Beauty. I'm using this uh, eye primer. I think this came in like a boxy charm. It's probably the best eye primer I have ever owned, and I have actually a couple of them. Then, um, for mascara today from It Cosmetics, I am still wearing the It Superhero Mascara. This is a really great mascara. I'm really enjoying it. I'm so glad that I was able to try it out. On my lips today, I pulled this from the back of the drawer. This is the only MAC lipstick I think that I actually own. I might have one more, but this is the only one that I bought and paid full price for. Let's put it that way. This is the um, from the not 20... Let's see, what are we in? 20, not 2015 summer, but 2014 summer when they came out with the Alluring Aquatics, I think is what this was. And this is in the shade um, Mystical. And I really love the packaging. I mean, I know you guys all know what that looks like, but this is the color Mystical. So I sometimes forget I have this, but that's the color lipstick that I'm wearing today. It's really pretty for this time of year. And then to top it off, I'm wearing my Rimmel Glossy Stay Gloss. And this one is in the shade All Night Long. It's just this really, really pretty color. So that is everything on my face today Tuesday and um, I will see you guys tomorrow bye hi guys today's Wednesday I hope you're having a really great day so far here it is kind of wet and cold and just sort of yucky feeling but it's Wednesday so that means we're halfway through the weekend Friday will be here soon enough so let me show you guys what is on my face today I'm wearing the velvet touch primer I really like Japanese products I have a couple of blushes I have this that I really enjoy so I would actually like to eventually try more things from Japanese because everything I've tried so far I've really liked so for foundation today I am wearing my um it cosmetics CC cream as you can see this one's almost finished thank goodness and this will be my second tube of this I just really really like it. Um, to set everything, I am wearing my Airspun Loose Face Powder from Cody. Um, this has sort of that perfumey scent, but I mean, it goes away. However, I kind of really like the scent, so it doesn't bother me at all. And it's a really good just general setting powder. Um, I am wearing underneath my eyes Maybelline Age Rewind in the brightening shade. Then for bronzer today, I am wearing my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, I was trying samples of these last week, but I already had a full size um and uh in the what is this in the milk chocolate that i use all the time anyway so that's my bronzer today then for blush from hard candy i am wearing this blush it's one of the glow all the way blushes and this is the one in sunburst it's just really really pretty um it has you know your blush color on one side and then it has sort of a highlighty color on the other side it's just really pretty inexpensive you can get them at walmart on top of my cheeks for just a little extra sheen today from bare minerals i am wearing um this is the clear radiance uh just give a really kind of light peachy I don't know sheen sort of to the top of your cheeks or you know wherever you decide to highlight it I think it's really pretty and I really like that I don't wear it as much as I should um then for uh eyeshadow today from ColourPop I am wearing. This is the color in So Quiche. This is the one that it has is kind of the olive color, but when you turn it certain ways or when the light hits it a certain way, you can kind of see flashes of like um, pink and green and, and sort of a purpley color. I don't know if I can get to pick. Well, you can see there like just sort of, uh, I don't know. It looks pretty different every single time I swatch it. So anyway, that's what I'm wearing all over my eyes today. It's just, I don't know, I like it. I use that color ice brush and kind of blended it up into the crease. So it looks like I'm wearing a transition color, but I'm not. Then for mascara from CoverGirl, this is the Plumpify Blast Pro that I got from, from Influencer. I'm still really, really enjoying that from It Cosmetics. This is the It CC Lip Serum in the shade Love. I was wearing this also last week. So that's it for today on Wednesday. Have a great Wednesday, hump day, whatever you want to call it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, Hi guys. Today is Thursday. It is almost Friday, and I could not be happier this week about that, actually. Um, if you can see back there, I still have not gone to Sephora because I have a procrastination problem when it comes to taking things back. So, let me show you guys really, really quickly what's on my face. Um, for my primer today, I am wearing from It Cosmetics. It's the Feel the Moment Anti-Aging 
um, primer serum. I really like this one too, and it's about half empty from It Cosmetics. So this is a really good primer. Um, on top of that, for foundation today, I am wearing the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. I absolutely love that stuff. And then to set everything today, I am using this from um, Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. It's just a pressed powder, and this one is in the shade Light to Medium. Um, I really like this powder, and another thing I just forgot that I had in the back of the drawer, but um, I've used it quite a bit, and I've hit pan on it. I don't know, a couple months ago, I just forgot that I had it. So this is a really good setting powder just for, you know, setting your makeup through, you know, for the day or whatever. Um, then I am wearing um, today, oh, under my eyes, again, I'm using this little sample that I got from Benefit. It's the Fake Up, the concealer. Um, so far, it's working okay. I don't have any issues with it or anything on my face as far as blush, bronzer, and highlighter going going this day needs to this day needs to be going a little faster <laughs> um as far as blush bronzer and pr uh, highlighter go if i can talk um i'm using this compact from it cosmetics um this one is the live love laugh vitality face disc and um it just has these um really i, I don't want to tip it up because it's got some fall out from the powder and I don't want to dump it all over my work clothes because then that'd be another bad situation. But anyway, um, it has this really pretty bronzer, a blush right there that you can see, and a highlighter. Um, it's really gorgeous. They're really, really pretty together. Really nice and beautiful. And then on my eyes today, for sort of a base from ColourPop, this is um, Tea Party, which I really, really like this color on its own. But just to amp it up a little bit today, I'm wearing um, this trio from NYC. This is the Oh Soho Sweet is what it's called and it's just these really pretty just you know basic color so i'm just using those all over my eyes today and a little bit underneath my um lower lash line and then i started off with the um big mascara from avon it's the big and daring volumizing mascara from avon it has a really really huge brush on it um and i hadn't used it in a while and if you guys have noticed i've been trying to pull products out that i haven't used in a long time because i guess like shop my stash kind of thing um this mascara i forgot how much i liked it i'm trying to get this wand out with one hand here's what the wand looks like so it's a pretty big thick kind of curved wand um but when i started using it this morning i could tell that this has pretty much almost dried up the formula was really just dry and it didn't do much so I went back on top of it with the cosmetics superhero mascara which I love and that seemed to work okay today so on my lips I am just wearing from Mermil just the stay glossy gloss and this is the one in timeless allure just a really really pretty color that is everything on my face today um happy Friday Eve to you all and I hope you have a great afternoon and I'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys Bye. well it is Friday I hope that we all made it safe and sound um I'm just really glad it's Friday it's really really bright and sunny out here today and I could not be happier so happy Friday let me show you what is on my face today just in case you are interested today for primer again I am using the it cosmetics number 50 primer and you can see in the bottom that is almost gone which makes me very sad which means I'm gonna have to buy another one really soon because it's a really good primer um then today I pulled out from Rimmel this stay matte um liquid mousse foundation from the back of the drawer I've been sort of doing a shop my stash kind of thing this week and using things that I sort of forgot I really love this foundation when it came out and I still like it and you know so anyway I decided to wear that today then I set everything with um, my Rimmel stay matte pressed powder which I really really enjoy and to help the under eye dark circle situation today the Tarina Tarantino under eye hyper light brightener for bronzer today from physicians formula I am using this bronzer here which is the one that it says is for blondes I don't know they have one for blondes and one for brunettes and this is the one for blondes um i really like it i think it's just you know pretty and light and i don't know i just really like it the matching blush from physicians formula is what i'm wearing this one is the blondes blush they also have a brunette i don't really know what the main difference is but this is the one for blondes i really and like today it. um and it has enough shimmer in it that i didn't need an extra highlighter so that was good then for eyes today i pulled also out of the back of the drawer my Too faced natural eyes palette and i don't know 
why I forgot I had it. Clearly I have too much stuff and I need to get rid of a lot of stuff. But this is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I think it's really pretty. It has a lot of really wearable shades for, I think, pretty much any skin tone. And then for mascara, I'm wearing my Armani Eyes to Kill mascara. Um, I won this in a giveaway like over a year ago. And I still pull it out and wear it every now and then. It is really, really pretty. I don't think it's worth the price tag. It's a good mascara. Anyway, this is the CoverGirl on my lips today. The CoverGirl O oh Sugar um, Lip Balm Lipstick in the color Caramel. So that's everything I'm wearing on my face today. I hope you guys have a really great Friday. Have a really super terrific weekend. And I will see you guys next week with the weekly wrap-up. Have a great weekend. Bye.